on a rainy day, Asbury Park's boardwalk is the place to be. Some call it Brooklyn by the beach because of its diversity and culture. There's something for everyone in Asbury Park, and I think it's drawing a younger crowd. I think it's one of those, like, not to be cliche, but like the whole, like, your vibe attracts your tribe thing. Back in the 1930s, Asbury was a new resort town. By the 1990s, it was desolate. Now it's on the upswing. Crime is at a 17 year low, and the deputy mayor, Amy Quinn, points out real estate is off the charts. If you look behind me, you're going to see 1101, which is probably the most expensive real estate in Asbury Park. But, you know, that, that structure there was essentially a skeleton since the 1980s. Throughout it all, iconic buildings have remained staples, like Convention Hall, now home to small vendors and a concert hall. True, it needs work. Casino Pier features art installations. The Stone Pony, made famous by Bruce Springsteen, is still the place to be. It's home to outdoor summer concerts. New restaurants are opening up left and right. The Iron Whale has a mix of fish and meat dishes. One that's really great is Tower Dogs. Mm. It's a hot dog place, okay. um, but they make their own hot dogs from prime cuts of steak. Where to stay? The trendy Asbury Hotel was the first hotel to open in 50 years in 2016. The action isn't just by the boardwalk. The downtown area here on Cookman Avenue is full of unique stores and tasty restaurants. There is even walk-in glass blowing. Here's where locals like to eat. Tallulah's in town. That's on Cookman. We got the boardwalk and Stella Marina. Quinn thanks the big name developers like iStar for helping with the revitalization, but most importantly, the people that stayed and the small business owners who took risks opening up here. In Asbury Park, New Jersey, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News.